through New York on Monday night. A photographer captured lightning striking the Empire Ooh. State Building. I got Unusual that. for the 102-story tower to be struck. The building acts as a pretty good lightning rod for the area. According to the Empire State Building's website, it's hit by lightning 23 times a year on average. Yeah, we see that in Chicago, too, with the... The now aptly named Willis Tower. No, 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 Sears Tower. Sears Tower. Oh, forever, he's going to be the Sears, Sears Tower to this guy. Always to me, too. But isn't it cool, though? I mean, we see it all the time, but to see it, I mean, it's like, I don't care how many times I've seen it, I like to see it. So, you know, I, I and I say this all the time, but the proliferation of cameras, so many cameras right. out there mm -hmm. now is really allowing us to study weather in so many unique ways. Oh, yeah, and the tornado really, video that you guys are getting now to look at is precisely. amazing. Precisely, and the tornado videos really do help uh, research scientists get into how those tornadoes form and allows us to try to bring you warnings even more quickly to save a lot of lives. Meantime out here, we don't have to worry about any of that stuff today. Spectacular conditions outside. Here's a live look from our Waukesha County Tower Cam as we look to the northwest toward Pewaukee. Just a smattering of fair weather cumulus clouds. Otherwise, a lot of blue out there, and that's going to be the story through the rest of the day today. Bright blue skies topping your weather headlines. It's turning out to be a toasty Tuesday, but that humidity level is kept in check, which means rather comfortable summer weather outside. We're going to turn wet midweek, though, as we head into tomorrow and into Thursday. I think those will be a couple of the best chances for precipitation. We'll time that out for you in future forecast in just a moment. Outside right now, everybody has risen now into the 80s. 81 degrees for you find folks joining us in Waukee Shaw. It's 83 in Milwaukee, also in Racine and Kenosha. Even up the lake, Sheboygan, 85 degrees in Fondy and 80 even in Beaver Dam and Dodge County. Your dew point in the low 60s, as is the case across much of the area. Some locations even dipping into the 50s. So again, the humidity levels very comfortable out there. The winds non-existent. We have high pressure right overhead, so that's keeping things nice and calm. Temperatures fairly uniform across the upper Midwest, the mid Mississippi Valley in the middle 80s, 83 right now in Omaha, Nebraska, 84, Wichita, Kansas, 85, Des Moines, matching the reading in La Crosse and a degree better than that in the Twin Cities, 86 degrees there. Here's a look at the satellite and radar combination for hundreds of miles around us. We have clear skies. I mean, picture perfect conditions out there right now. That's courtesy of that high pressure that's overhead. Just up to our northwest is a cool front. That's going to be the story for tomorrow. So we're continued quiet through the day today and into tonight because of that ridge. But that cold front up to the northwest will be tomorrow's trigger for at least a scattered area of showers and storms that should roll through by midday. Here's a look at southeastern Wisconsin right now close in and again. Just a few of those fair weather clouds popping up, and you can see right along the lake a little cloudiness as well. But most inland locations enjoying the blue skies. Future forecast indicates we'll see more clear skies tonight. As we go through the day tomorrow, we'll start to see the possibility at least of some scattered precipitation and then another round rolling our way as we head into Thursday with some potentially heavier downpours. So your storm team forecast for the balance of the day today. Lots of sunshine out there. Enjoy it. Very warm up to near 86 degrees for tonight. A stop Starry, starry sky. Yes, a nice night to go for a walk with your sweetie. Warm down to 68. And for tomorrow on our midweek Wednesday, we'll call it partly cloudy overall. Very warm, more humid. Look for scattered showers and storms developing through the day up to near 85 degrees. Here comes your storm team for a seven day forecast. An even better chance of more substantial rain coming through the day on Thursday. Our temperatures a little cooler near 78 degrees behind that cold front that passes on by. Lingering precipitation chances on Friday with temperatures near 77 degrees. And then we should dry out just in time for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday looking to be nice. I think Sunday probably brighter than Saturday and temperatures either side of 80 degrees, which by the way is just about where we should mm -hmm. be for this time of year. It's good to be just about where you should be. Like you should be right over there. You yes, all right, right, right we are, right, right where we are. Thank you, Scott.